sea, once it cast its spell, holds one in its net of wonder forever. Jacques Cousteau Exploring Eleuther Island began early in Rock Sound as we grabbed our rental car and headed north toward the Glass Window Bridge. We made a quick stop in Governor's Harbor to eat breakfast before finally arriving at the bridge. We began exploring at this marker, which reads, This man-made bridge took the place of what was once an impressive rock arch, destroyed by a raging hurricane. The concrete replacement bridge has been battered by turbulent storms as well. Glass Window is a prime spot for viewing the striking contrast of the deep blue Atlantic Ocean on one side and the gentle turquoise waters of the Exuma Sound on the other. Exuma Sound. Big difference in color and in wave activity. The end of the marker reads, two large boulders lie about a mile south of the bridge, known as the cow and the bull. They are a testament to the power of the sea that lift them atop the ridge. Also look for the blowhole just southwest of here. We did not catch a glimpse of the cow and the bull, but we did hear the blowhole. The day was not sunny, so our pictures will not do the area justice, as websites describe it. Bahamas.com describes the bridge this way. One of nature's true wonders, the glass window bridge will certainly leave you breathless as you drink in the magnificent panoramic view. It is one of the few places on earth where you can compare the rich blue waters of the Atlantic Ocean on one side of the road and the calm bite of Eleuthera or Exuma Sound on the other side, separated by a strip of rock just 30 feet wide. The bridge is about two miles east of the upper Vogue and connects the northern and southern points of Eleuther by paved road. The land here is high on both sides, falling away abruptly to nearly sea level and is the nearest point on the island. Our people And of course, we had the first of our famous selfies before heading just about a half mile south to the Queen's Bath. The Queen's Bath are natural pools located on the Atlantic side of Eleuther Island. We were told to enjoy a dip during low to medium tide. And although we thought about it and the tide seemed right, we did not take a dip even though tempted. But we can see how people have been swept over the side into the Atlantic during high tide. We did enjoy exploring the cliffs, playing on the rocks, and exploring the caves by the pools. Got it. And another selfie at the Queen's Bath.
Across the street from the Queen's Bath is Twin Sisters Beach, which is found by locating the path down through the trees to a pristine beach area. Twin Sisters Beach is a small stretch of beach located near the Glass Window Bridge. Its name is derived from the two boulders in the water on the Exuma Sound side. Just north of where we entered the beach area, you can see the Twin Sister boulders. A quick stop near Gregory Town to take this picture of an anchorage we considered. We read it was tight, but the waters were deep. The actual anchorage was bigger than it looked on the map. Next stop, the Hatchet Bay Caves. D's on the right side of the car. How's it going? Well, I, I think I've got it licked. And I've got a couple problems though that are just annoying, annoying problems, not really safety issues. 